During this time in the residency, I've been using this time to understand four different neighborhoods that I've been exploring in Los Angeles. I'm thinking about my own experiences, you know, coming to Los Angeles and wandering around the city trying to find my own identity in that process. And this film, which is broken into four or five different chapters, we see my time in each of these different neighborhoods and they're changing as, as I'm changing. I'm becoming more of an adult. I'm finding my own place in the city. Before the residency had begun, I started initially by producing a set of photographs. There was about 18 in the gallery, and that gave me as a starting point to sort of re rethink about the landscape of these, na of these different neighborhoods that I had lived in. And as this residency has been going on, I've been using the time to do interviews and conversations, both with colleagues, friends, people who I've been in contact with who you know, grew up in these neighborhoods who have lived there for an extended period of time and helped me develop a set of research as I produce um, this full-length film. And though I'm telling a lot of this text through my own personal experience, I want to make sure I'm being as accurate and as respectful as I possibly can, getting a wide range of voices. It creates this, this, these connections in a way that you, that might, you might not read immediately. It feels like it's random, but it's really not. It's, it becomes a way of like creating a tone and a complex texture between a variety of mediums. What I've learned over time, that's how I really begin starting a body of work, is the act of actually being in the space and needing to ground myself in it. It becomes a way of creating or, or trying to understand the tactility of the location that really helps me start to understand, well, what am I dealing with? Where am I? What is this location in front of me? Even if I, I've been there, but it's, it's been some time. Like, what am I not normally thinking about? What, what is directly in front of me? And how does this space operate? How do people move through the space? And a lot of the footage might not even include that. It starts to create a landscape that I'm working in. And I think from there, it, it allows me to slowly I get closer and closer in just to understand the places that I'm working in. I think so much of this film is so much about neighborhoods and how neighborhoods are, are, are in a state of change, um, I think in Los Angeles, but in other parts of the country. I don't think LA will become something. For me, it's always in a state of becoming. It's always in a state of flux. I don't think of it as a place that that wants to stay stationary. I think LA is a space that's constantly redoing itself. It's it, holding on to bits of its own history and then figuring out where it needs to go next. I think 18th Street has made me feel that a lot of the things I do are, are quite legitimate. People are seeing me in the, the process of making a film, which is which is both exciting and incredibly uncomfortable at the same time. I feel a little exposed and I do think that's been great for my practice. It's been great for me to sort of say, oh, this is how I work as a, as a, as a working artist. And this is how I make art. I'm intrigued to see what will this, will this end product be, but I do think it's helped me focus on the importance of everything in between that.